Is there anything more horrific than trying to get a bond in free to play? Even the wiki is depressing. Telling you that the best method is 627,000 GP per hour, you need 55 magic and a bunch of GP. But what if there was a better way? In fact, two better ways. The wiki's own top method is high alking, but if you sell any item to a shop that sells it apart from a general store, you get the same money as high alking gives you without the cost of the ruins. So straight away, you know there are better money makers out there. Over the past year, the prices of so many low value items have been falling until they have now reached the lowest price they have ever been and they are a lot cheaper than the actual game values them at. Every item in the game is given a value which you can find by searching for it on the wiki such as the adamant arrows that I have brought up here. On the right side is the value of the item, that is what the game values it at and the price it usually is to buy the item from a shop. Next is the high alk value which is 60% of the first value and the price an archery shop that also sells Adam and Arrows will also buy them off you for. Then we have the low alk value which is 40% of the value and the price general stores buy things from you for. And finally we have the grand exchange which in this case is 11 GP and the buy limit which is how many you can buy every 4 hours. But before you run off and buy a ton of Adi Arrows and sell them in Varric that's not the method and it's not quite that simple. You can't just buy an item like this and alg it because the ruins cost more than the profit you make and you can't just sell a load to a shop because everyone you or anyone else sells reduces the price you get by 2% each time until you finally reach 10% of the item's value and they will never pay you less than that price in any shop. In the case of an adamant arrow, 10% of its value is 8 GP, which is less than a GE price of 11 GP. However, the prices of so many items are that cheap now, that generally doesn't happen until you've sold a lot of them like this. For adamant arrows, if you use Runelite's UI swap plugin to sell 50 at a time, you make money with one click. Now imagine you have 10, 15 or 20 similar stacks of different items, the amount is really up to you. You can make good money just sticking to one type of shop, which I've already done in the guide and I will link that below. But with so many cheap items now, there is one shop that has become insanely profitable, but it comes with a risk. But this is why there are two methods. One carries limited risk and is still better money than the wiki, but the other one with the highest risk is also the most profitable. First though, you're gonna to need to choose the items and the place I find best for this is alchemate.com. This site is actually used to work out the profit of High Alking because if it's profitable High Alking, it's even more profitable to sell to a shop. But you want to avoid anything that's a high price because the 2% less a shop pays you each time is a lot larger on higher priced items. I found most arrows plus steel, mithril and adamant weapons and armors to be extremely cheap but there are thousands of items that you can use because the shop we use buys anything for High Alchemy price. The downside is this shop is in the wilderness, but don't let that put you off. You can risk hardly anything and the free to play wilderness is deserted, including this shop and it's only level 23. So these are the items I decided to buy, but you can buy any as long as they're profitable to sell to a shop. Remember that every one of them that you sell, you get 2% less for for the next one. If you have any problems with the calculations, just post a comment and I'll help you out. All the armor and weapons that I chose bought for at least 300 GP below the ALK price. So the Bandit Duty free shop we'll be using as I mentioned is level 23 Wilderness and it's a general store that unlike the others pays you the high alchemy price. The idea behind it was to get a load of people to sell items there for PKs to kill. But because Jagex doesn't want bots to have easy access to good Wilderness money makers, there are no dragons in free to play, no revenants, no bosses, in fact there really isn't much there at all. So the Wilderness in free to play is practically dead. Doing this method you want to use as many different items as possible because you lose the most time when you hot worlds. The first method that I did was to buy as many items as possible up to Addy without worrying about the price as long as they were profitable and I spent 1.59 million GP on items in total. You can simply do lower value items if you want to risk less or use the second method which I'll come to later. I sold 10 of each piece of armor and weapon per world and 50 of each stack of arrows. I also use the World Hopper plugin which allows you to hop world by pressing just a single key, just to speed it up a little bit. Occasionally you will get a bandit in the shot with you that attacks you and all you do is go outside and come back in and close the door behind you. After just 6 minutes and 19 seconds I had sold all of my items for 1.8 million GP. A profit of 241,000 GP in that time which works out to 2.28 million GP per hour. Currently the best free to play money maker in the game. 
it's probably possible to push that up to 3 million GP per hour with practice buying the right items, but of course you also need to have the time it takes to buy the items off the GE. To show you this with limited risk, I took out every stack of items that cost over 100,000 GP, leaving just these items. The total cost was 268,000 GP and they sold for 400,000, a profit of 132,000 GP in just 6 minutes, which is still 1.25 million GP per hour. They took me almost as long to sell as the first load of items because most of the time users just hopping worlds and a few extra clicks per world hardly affects it at all. So if you can find a bunch of cheap items on Alchemate, you can probably still make 2 million GP per hour with more cheaper stacks of items. Finally, for those wondering about pay to play, the bandits and members worlds are a higher level and generally more of a pay to deal with. I tried the same thing in members and actually only made 2 million GP per hour with even more items.